Good morning, everybody. We're going to try something new since I'm banned from Facebook. We're going to do the quizzes on YouTube. So we're going to go over the construction hazard assessment. That's the area I called it. It's applying to the CHST Domain 1, the STSC Domain 1. And it's October 5th, 2025, Episode 1. So we're just going to go through three quizzes. Uh, instead of the quiz you answering, you'll just get the answer after the next slide. Which control must be specified in a hot work permit? A, the required amount of water to be present on site. B, the contact detail for the nearest two fire stations. C, the fire insurance policy number of the employer. D, the designation of the fire watch. And the answer is the designation of the fire watch with a fire extinguisher and trained. Sunglasses are not arc welding protection. This photo is from OSHA. A critical lift is defined in the steel erection standard as a lift that exceeds 75% of the rated capacity of the crane or derrick or requires use of more than one crane. Which scenario would most likely require a critical lift to plan? A. Repetitive lifts conducted multiple times during the workday or job. Any lift performed by a rough terrain crane. C. Lifts performed without a designated spotter. D. Lifting and weather conditions that may affect crane or equipment performance. And the answer is D. Lifting and weather conditions that may affect the crane equipment performance. For example, if you're lifting at 65% of the capacity of the crane, in the big blue case, you're lifting up a big sail of steel, there's going to be a factor of reducing the capacity because of the sail adds wind load to the crane. So that's where we have it. In the case of Big Blue, lifting a million pounds, when they calculated the safe wind speed for it, it was 11 miles an hour. And they had gusts up over 30 miles an hour. And the last one, during a site inspection, you observe workers climbing the cross brace of a scaffold to reach the next level. What's the most appropriate immediate response? A, stop the unsafe behavior required a proper access ladder and stair system. B, allow them to continue if they're tied off. C, assign a spotter at the base for temporary controls. D, document the hazards and review at the next toolbox talk. And the answer is stop the unsafe behavior and require the use of proper ladder or stair systems. These cross braces are held with a pin. They're not designed to be climbed on. This is an OSHA violation under 451E. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow, I hope.